Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this book review for The Surgeon by Leslie Wolf, we see a woman whose life is about to be turned upside down. Now, she's a trusted surgeon, a cardiac surgeon who works on very intriguing and difficult cases. In fact, until this particular case, Everybody has made it off the table alive, but this latest case, the man dies. Part one of the drama. There's more. She's married to a man. His name, I believe, is Derek. Okay. She's married to Derek. And Derek is a man that's about to be mayor. I think I, it looks like I didn't write the review. I thought I wrote it. Derek is about to be mayor. He could be the very next mayor. But there's not just Derek, there's also Paula. Well, who's Paula? Well, she's about to get a promotion in the DA's office. And she's gonna use Derek to help her. Well, Derek is a surgeon. Who's our surgeon? Did I write her name down? Anne. Derek is Anne's husband, but I'm mentioning Paula, the woman in the DA's office. And then I mentioned Derek, who has a chance of being mayor. All right, so let's talk about this, those three characters. Anne, the surgeon, Derek, the husband, Paula is having an affair with the would-be mayor soon to be mayor there's your drama but that's not it the drama involves the man that was on that operating table and why Anne feels that she could very well be arrested at any given moment for him dying on that table but wait a minute don't people die during surgeries on occasion? Is that so odd? Is that so unusual? Well, the thing is, you're going to find out that something happened in Anne's past that flavored her actions towards the man that was on her table. Then you have Paula, who is, as you read this book, bound and determined to ruin Anne. The DA's office is suddenly investigating the death of this patient. And who is the investigating DA <laughs> or assistant DA? None other than Paula. Is it because of the pillow talk that she had with Derek, Anne's husband? But then what? what is their relationship? Well, when you meet Anne, you meet a competent, skilled surgeon, but a woman who's weak at heart because of how much she loves and adores her husband. Okay? I'm just going to give a little bit more light how much she adores her husband. She thinks he is the be beginning and the end. He's ideal. He's perfect. Well, we know that he's not perfect. We know that because we know about him and Paula. Now, I had one problem with this book, okay? It was narrated by Gwendolyn Druyer. I don't think I've ever listened to her narrations before. Now, you have, like I said, you have Anne, you have Derek, and you have Paula. So our narrator had to narrate their different points of view, depending on where you were in the story. My only problem, which is why I'm giving this book four stars instead of five, is that when our narrator did Anne's voice, Anne seemed like I, I said to my husband, I said, Tony, she sounds like a whiny fifth grader. That's how I described 
Anne's voice. Now, my husband does not read fiction. He reads all the time, but it's not fiction. Well, I took my earbud out, shut Bluetooth off, and had him listen to the narration of the voice of Anne. But then it dawned on me that maybe it wasn't the narrator, maybe it was the character, the neediness. Maybe that's what Leslie Wolf was aiming for, writing Anne as a woman who, although she was a respected, skilled surgeon, richer than rich, needed her husband, needed her career, needed the respectability of being that good, skilled surgeon. And all of those needs that Anne had made her seem like a needy character. And it was hard for me to, to get into Anne. Then you have Paula. Leslie Wolf did a stellar job here. You don't want to know why? Because she made sure that you as a reader despised Paula. She was a snake. She was conniving. She was devious. And I loved the narration of Paula because I felt those dislikable qualities that exuded from her. So that so the balance was off a little bit, but it could have been very, very well by design. You have this strong woman who is determined to ruin Anne, and then you have this weaker woman who's strong in her own right, but not strong enough to fight against Paula, but not knowing the dynamic. That dynamic was missing. We the reader knew what that dynamic was, that affair between Paula and Derek. That's not a secret. That's not a spoiler. But Anne didn't know the dynamic. Now that I think about it, I haven't put this review out yet. I might even go up to five stars because now that I'm assimilating it, I can see the brilliance behind writing such polar opposite women. I can see that. So I have to think on that. I'll think on that today. Because I, I think this book review is due in a couple of days. So I'm going to think on that. This one might go up. It might go up to five stars. Because of the the way that these characters were written. So Gwendolyn Doria may be very a very, very skilled narrator. But the character Anne was just so needy that it was hard to take her in all of the ways that she came out as a character. But... Like I said, it was, it was a, I, I don't know if I, I know, I don't, I know that I didn't say it. It was an excellent book. And I'm just going to say this in case I didn't make it clear. The man that, the patient on the table that died, there's a reason for that. And that's where this book excelled. Let's see what happens to Anne. What happens to Paula? What happens to Derek? What happens to Anne and Derek's marriage? All of that is what you'll find out if you read The Surgeon by Leslie Wolf. Whether you read it in audiobook format or whether you read it as a Kindle book or you get it as a print on demand, you won't be disappointed. You'll be glad that you read it. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.